in contrast to last episode, <laughs> here's Devil Ami, kind of, sort of. Yeah, it didn't really turn out as well. <laughs> anyway, hey guys, Miss Saiyan Ellie here, and welcome back to another episode of Old Kami. In the last episode, we learned the very, very pristine art of disrespect. And we started looking around Taka Pass for things that we can do. One of which was harass some moles who were thieves. But in the midst of harassing them, somehow we became friends? Question mark? I don't know. It was it was actually very, very strange. It was kind of a weird one, so whatever. They're they're happy, kind of kind of reflecting on their lives. Uh, and now, oh wait, I heard a doggy. We can feed the dog. We're gonna feed the dog because doggies deserve all of the food and they're precious. Okay, we're gonna feed all of the dogs. <laughs> uh. Yeah, give me that doggy praise. And now we're gonna take a right here to head into. The Cutter's House, Strangers Not Welcome. That's promising. Check it out. It's a real grumpy old lady, and it is dark here. This is ominous as crap. Look at her. She is just spewing bad juju. I don't know. Ha! I was just looking for something tasty to put in my pot. You'll do nicely, little mutts. The horrible Mrs. Cutter! I love how it just, like, is shrieking her name. You should keep us going until my husband catches us a big beast. Mmm, maybe not. She look, look at the bow in her hair. Look at, look, hold on, let me see if I can just, like, zoom in on her without getting close to her. She has, like, actual cutters in her hair. She's actually bizarre. You can't talk to her. And if she hits you more than once, you actually take damage from her, which is real wild. You must have a death wish, you miserable mutt! Yeah, um, well, we're, just, we're just gonna leave her there. Tombstones out here? It doesn't look like anyone ever visits. It's kind of sad. Uh, there's not a whole ton we can actually do in this area, actually. If you want the truth, I really just wanted to swing by to... Okay, yes, I know. You hate me and you want to cook me. It's fine. Blah, what a disgusting smell. I guarantee you this water will give you the runs even if you're a god. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, all right, well, let's not drink that water. So yeah, uh, this place is not particularly useful for to us right now. I just wanted to stop by so that we know that it's here. And because we can get this right now. It is a stray bead. So that's awesome. And on top of that, if we look up right here, we can... Come on. Where, where is it? I just had it. Oh, here it is. Let us draw it in the shape of... Well, I tried to do it in the shape of a knife, and then it didn't work. Oh. Well, <laughs> well so much for that. All right, enough messing around. I'm having a little bit too much fun with the brush lately. Uh, vine ourselves up here, and we get ourselves more glass beads. We've been getting quite a few of these lately, actually. So, uh, but at least we know that it's here. And for now, that's all we can really get from uh, Mrs. Cutter's house. So we're just gonna mosey on along and let her do her business. I'd, I'd rather not deal with a cranky old lady. Yay, all right. Took that out and now past this gate. Uh, there is a path that way. We're gonna save that for later. Uh, look up and there's a dig spot up there. We can't get it yet as much of a tease as that is. Oh, we got a meat feed bag. Yes, thank you. And now we want to take a right here, and we have a devil gate that we can clear. 
Uh, I don't understand. The mermaid spring's always given us such lovely fresh water. How can it dry up all of a sudden? Well, that is quite a <laughs> dry pond. While it is nighttime, I do want to point this out. I love nighttime. It makes things easy to see. I don't have to think about it. Grab a holy bone S from this. And now we can go and take care of that devil da uh, devil gate. <laughs> devil date. Ah, yes. Let us date these devils. One devil gate got us all of that water. It's pretty wild. Mermaid Spring. See that light? This is a special place known as a mermaid spring. There's a wonderful legend about beautiful mermaids appearing here. They say there are other mermaid springs throughout the land. We have seen a couple of them. Uh, you should visit them wherever they may be. Well, uh, we still can't really do anything with this thing. But it is nice to note that it is here, and there is one in Taka Pass. It's so wonderful that the mermaid spring has come back to life. Maybe it's thanks to the legendary powers of the mermaids, or, you know, the legendary power of the god literally is talking to you right now. Have you heard of the story? This spring's like a path for them. Sometimes they come up from the bottom of the ocean. There are other springs just like this all, all across Nippon. The mermaids come up to the ground to visit their favorite places. See, part of the water's surface is shining faintly. If you throw a mermaid coin in there, the path will open up. Well, uh, clearly, we do not have any mermaid coins. That is not something that we can really do right now, but we'll worry about it some other time. Now we're just going to go ahead and feed this deer. And that's honestly pretty much all I wanted to do here in Taka Pass for now. Uh, this leads up there. We can't do anything about it yet. Um, there, There's like other places that we can go in Taka Pass, but we will be passing by there later. It's just not a whole ton of reason to go and do it right this second. So we're going to save all of it except for this tree off in the distance. Come on. Please? I know I can bloom it! Thank you! <laughs> so we're just gonna uh, save the rest of Taco Pass for another time because I think I'd rather uh, go off to Kusa Village and see what's up there! Let's see, so the path to Kusa Village is actually this way. So here we go, leaving Taco Pass behind and going on to the actual objective! Oddly enough, as large as Taka Pass is, it didn't really take as long to get through this as it did Kamiki Village. Oh, uh, what do you want? You want herbs. No, you want seeds. Eat up, monkey butt! Yeah! Demon Fang! I did it! I got- I got one of them. Alright. Uh, head up. I don't think there's a whole lot on the pathway, too. It's just kind of barren, honestly. Oh, and what do you know? It is daytime right before we hit Kusa Village. It wanted us to approach at the appropriate time. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Welcome to Kusa Village. Yeah, this place is real creep. I don't like it. Yikes! What's this creepy evil atmosphere in this village? There's no curse zone here, but I definitely sense evil. As you can see, it is continuously draining our ink supply. We will eventually run out. Of all the luck, I want to do some trading over at the Gale Shrine. But it's take, been taken over by some monster and it's panic all around. 
Oh, well, I suppose I'll just have to make the best of it now. Have you been sent here to do some shopping for your master? I am my own master. I have my... Remember when I spent all of my money so that I could pee on things? Remember that? I remember that. Yep. Well, we do want this pinwheel, so we're gonna buy that. And, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna have to grind up some money. Specifically 60,000 yen. Well, a little less because I have 8,000 right now. Actually, uh... No, probably about 60,000 yen because there's two gold dusts here. Oh, well... <laughs> Oh, well. Hello. You know, the priest of the shrine was gobbled up by that monster. I'm sure that's what stopped the divine wind from blowing. Monsters have been, been attacking the Gale Shrine, you see. The strength of the shrine god is growing weaker and weaker. The divine wind used to make the windmill there turn, uh, turn like a charm. But that's not all. How much longer is this going to go on? Kusa Village is famous all over for its divine wind. And yet now it's stopped blowing and we're in a, in a terrible mess. That wind is our livelihood and the air is foul without it. Oh, is there really nothing that can be done? Come to think of it. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Continue. Continue your thought. Oh, the descendant Nagi blah blah blah. Maybe he'll take care of that monster for us. I'm sure the wind would come back if only that monster was gone. At least I hope so. So, you know, speaking of the priest, Princess Fuse is quite admirable. It's long been their family's duty to protect the shrine, you know. Though all alone now, she still perseveres, shedding, a, shedding nary a tear. It's a shame no one does anything to help her out, don't you think? Anyhow. Okay, but why don't you have green arrows over your head? Okay, yeah, yeah, you already told me that. You guys don't have green arrows over your head. That's real weird. You're supposed to. So there, there's a lot to take in here. There's bad air everywhere. And a lot of the people have some pretty nasty things to say. What now, a wolf? Another non-paying customer is all I need. That guy who came the other day has been a complete disaster. I let him stay because he claims he's a descendant of Nagi. I wonder who that is. But he's hardly a monster killer. He sleeps in the woods all day. And makes an, uh, an awful noise crying out in his sleep at night. Oh no. Maybe you could try chasing him off for me. Oh boy. Alright. Uh, the guy who's always asleep back there says he's from Kamiki. I remember hearing that some descendant of Nagi lived there. But it's hard to believe the old tales like this nowadays. Legend is legend. Imagine there being no monsters in the world. Also. Uh, yeah, there's Sleepy Bear. Oh. No go, Furball. Your celestial brush ain't gonna work in evil power this strong. So, uh, that's, a uh, unfortunate. Yeah, we, we can't do anything with that. I wanted to power slash this guy. He's clearly, well, at least partially alive. Uh, oh, it's a Daruma. That's cool. Okay, nothing there, and... Haha! -ha, we're a regular white wolf. We, we got no powers here. Uh, oh, right. I can't... Oh, wait! I can push it down! Check it! I can, I can actually push it down with my head. Things that we can't... Can still do... Without... The power of our brush. Which is kind of nice. So, there, honestly, I'm just poking around for the sake of poking around. There is... Not really a ton here for us, especially- Oh! Oh, I am so sorry! You're supposed to knock first! <laughs> Can't you wait until I'm done? I am so sorry! Oh no! <laughs> oh no, get out of here before I scream again! Uh... <laughs> Says she's sorry. Continues to do it two more times. Uh, yep, that that uh, yep, that's me. That that be me. All right, a little bit more exploration. There's another person up here, and oh, I can't actually get these because they are attached. 
Uh, I can't get on with this at all. I'm trying to collect my harvest, you see, but only Mr. Bamboo's baskets can hold enough of it. Have you seen? Have you been to his house yet, pup? He lives here in the village. People come from far and wide to buy his work. He's a real master. But he suddenly stopped making anything. He said he just can't get a hold of any decent bamboo anymore. Huh, come to think of it... Come to think of it what? Tell me! Say it in one breath! Did you come across a slightly ramshackle house at, at the Taka Pass? The old couple there were the last ones to order bamboo ware. Apparently, they suddenly had to have a bird cage made for them. They've always hated animals, so I wonder why they want a pet now. Uh... It probably was not used for a bird, I can tell you that much. That, that lady, that lady be cray. That lady be all sorts of cray. Hello, little doggy. This flower bed used to be really pretty, you know? It was full of flowers, all thriving on the fountain water. But then the wind stopped, and the water dried up, and now... But I'm watering them every day. I have to get them blooming again. Oh, she's precious! The flowers are so pretty here, but now it looks like it's filled with, filled in with dead grass. But I'm watering them every day. I have to get them blooming. Oh, that's so sad! Don't worry, we'll get rid of this cow's skull and dead grass for you. Just give us a little bit, okay? So, <laughs> guess what I forgot about while poking around Kusa Village? I totally forgot that we have a crap ton of things to sell. Remember that time when I was just like, uh-huh, we have no money, we have 8,000 yen, <laughs> Yeah, uh, we, we have like a bunch of fish and a bunch of treasures that we can actually like get rid of, so that's going to give us quite a pretty penny. A lot of these sell for a pretty hefty amount, so I'm pretty excited about that. The only one of the fish that I'm not going to sell is the giant salmon. I'm pretty sure I ran through that before, but uh, there's only one of that one in the game, so we're gonna leave that one alone. But the treasures, here we go. Uh, let's try to leave one of each. Don't judge me. Do not judge my inventory patterns. I like keeping my my inventory sufficiently filled. Do not judge me. Okay, two of those, and then the rest is just one, because I think you can only get one of each of these, and we're left with 44,000 yen. All right, okay, uh, okay, what I might do, actually, is sell some of the common ones, but keep the ones that I'm not sure that I can, like, get again. I'm pretty sure we can sell the bullhorn. We're gonna get, like, more of those. Definitely gonna get more glass beads. Definitely gonna get more dragonfly beads. And we're absolutely gonna get another vase. And another wooden bear. Okay. This is fine. 53,000. That is okay. That means we can actually pick up the infinity judge! Heck yes! Uh, the gold dust is still... A little too expensive for us, but we'll get there eventually. We we will have that gold dust before too long. This is the wrong title. This is the wrong title. Why why do I keep like opening the wrong freaking menu? Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, so now that we have the infinity judge, we really did not spend too much time with the snarling beast, but we do have the infinity judge. Oh, uh, here we go. Gold dust. Good thing I don't need to buy it right away because we have one left over. See, that's why I wanted to save the gold dust. You never know when it's gonna come in handy. Uh, reflector marked with indelibly, marked indelibly with the loop of infinity judges evil. Unfortunately, that means that we have to get rid of the ink bullet power, but this is gonna be real nice to have. I'm gonna stick this uh, on the sub weapon. All right, looks like we're good for now. I want to I want to keep the uh I want to keep the sub weapon as a reflector because I I actually have been having a lot of fun with it. Just like just like freaking pile driving enemies into the ground. It's been it's been pretty 
Okay, great. So, with our shopping being done, I have one more thing that I want to check out before we end the episode. Come around this corner and guess who it is? Ugh, ugh, no, no, not that. By the gods, I vow to. <clears throat> you won't ever. <clears throat> hmm? It's Usano. He's one tenacious dude. Wonder what he's doing here. I bet he's having a nightmare about getting beat up by monsters. He seems rather frantic. It'd be funny if it weren't so sad. <laughs> That's depressing. That dream again. Is there no escape? I thought by coming to the village... Hey there, Pops. Flandering around in your dreams, too? Must be nice to be able to nap in the middle of the day like that. Greatest warrior ever, my foot. Hmm? Poochie? And a little bug? <clears throat> oh, uh, <laughs> here to disturb my meditation again? Even in my dreams, I'm hard at work devising strategies for defeating that crimson something or other. I came here to pray for victory at the Gale Shrine, but lo and behold, that crimson something or other occupies a shrine. Well, with my invincible sword, there's no need to pray, but mankind's fate rests with me. I must be fully prepared. First, I must sit here and come up with a well-thought-out plan and bum off of the poor lady that runs this inn. Hmm, now where was I? Plan? Yeah, right. That's just your excuse to sleep. This guy, though. Can't a fella get some sleep? Oh, it's you again. I'm devising... Okay, whatever. Uh, drinking some of Kushi's sake back in Kamiki would be more effective. He's not only a coward, but a lush, too. This guy, though. Blah! Alright, well, uh, he doesn't have anything to say about us. I really want to make, like, bloom him so he pets us. Get up and force you to pet us! But, um, yeah, no ink. That is slightly unfortunate. You know what else is slightly unfortunate? Not being able to freaking bloom this clover! Alright, I'm getting real tired of not having... Of not having ink. I have gotten so used to having ink actually everywhere we go, but now, now I have to make do without. It sucks being a regular wolf. Anyway, with that, I think we have done enough for one episode. And in the next episode, I think we're going to go ahead and see what's beyond this cave tunnel thing. I will see you guys then. Messinella, out. <laughs>